Yo, what is up everyone? Chris here. It's been two years since I've last done a video on a Nintendo Entertainment System game. So today, I thought I'd finally break that streak. So, we are going to be reviewing this puzzle game for the Nintendo Entertainment System called Yoshi, as you can see behind me here. Yoshi is a Tetris slash Dr. Mario kind of clone, and it's honestly a pretty interesting game. So, let's get right into it. Yoshi is a dinosaur-like creature who is a companion to the Mario Brothers, is one of the most iconic video game characters of all time. The first game Yoshi appeared in was Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, which came out in 1990. Yoshi was released on December 14th of 1992 in Japan on the Famicom, and was released in Europe and North America the following year on the Nintendo Entertainment System. So technically, the oldest console that Yoshi appears on. The title screen features an adorable little Yoshi shitting out a baby Yoshi with a friendly jingle playing. The game selection screen is pretty similar to that of Dr. Mario with the check background. There are two game modes to select, difficulty levels to choose, speed of characters falling, and three different background songs. We are going to start with game mode A, which is marathon mode. In Yoshi, different Mario monsters of either a Goomba, Piranha Plant, Blooper, or a Boo fall down from the top of the screen at a time, and you play as Mario trying to match a pair of the characters vertically for points. You cannot control the direction of where the monsters fall down, but you can control the speed using bottom D-pad. However, you do use Mario to switch the positions of where your monsters are already placed down at. This is the style of the game that makes Yoshi unique from other Tetris slash Doctor. Dr. Mario clones. And if you think of it, Yoshi's more of a Dr. Mario clone rather than a Tetris one. They have similar backgrounds, he matched pairs of monsters for points, and you have Yoshi standing in his box like Dr. Mario did in his game. As stated before, you can only match a pair of monsters vertically, not horizontally or diagonally. You'll also see the bottom and top halves of Yoshi eggs float down here and there. The bottom half of the eggs behaves like a monster in the game. When another bottom half stacks on the bottom half, it disappears and points are rewarded. However, there are also top halves of the shell. When the top half stacks onto a bottom half, you receive a Yoshi for bonus points. But the top halves of the shell do not act as monsters. If a top shell does not match with a bottom shell, it will disappear and no points will be rewarded. If you have a bottom half of a shell and monsters are in between them and make a Yoshi egg with a top half, you will eliminate all of the monsters in between and receive a bigger Yoshi for bonus points. This is the unique gimmick of the game and is why the game is titled Yoshi. As you start matching more enemies, the game increases its difficulty level and monsters start falling down the screen faster. And every time it reaches a new difficulty level, instead of two monsters, three monsters will fall at a very fast pace temporarily. And then it will cool down to the new difficulty level speed. This will be having your anxiety shoot through the roof. When things aren't close to the top, it's good to speed up the falling of the monsters to match. But when things start to get close to reaching the top, it's best to let things fall at their set speed, so you have more time to think of where to switch your columns and monsters. Completing Yoshi eggs comes in handy when you start to come closer to the top of the screen, letting you get rid of a tall amount of monsters in one match. One great thing about hatching a Yoshi egg is it pauses the game for a moment till the animation is complete. Take this to advantage to look at what monsters will fall next to plan your next moves. When you cause an overflow, the game ends and you get a screen with Yoshi eggs hatching showing how well you did. Then you get a leaderboard of your scores. It's pretty cool to see how different this sprite of Mario looks compared to the one in Super Mario Bros. 3. Unlike game mode A where you start with an empty board, in game mode B you start with monsters already stacked up on your screen. The goal is to eliminate all of the monsters on the board to move to the next level. There's also a two-player versus mode. I can't show this part of the game since I don't have two controllers to be able to play with someone. But the manual says each player starts around at the same time. One person is controlling Mario, and the other is controlling Luigi. The player to clear their board first wins the level and gets a Yoshi egg. If a player makes an overflow, the other person wins and gets a Yoshi egg instead. The first player with three Yoshi eggs wins. It also says if you make a Yoshi egg with a monster in between, the monster gets added to your opponent's screen, giving them three monsters instead of two to deal with. 
This honestly sounds extremely fun, and I would love to play this with some friends or family, if I had any of those. For the NES, Yoshi's graphics are pretty great. The colors are vibrant, and the sprites look great. Not to mention, we get to see what Yoshi looks like on an 8-bit system. The music is also amazing. My favorite soundtrack is a Starman option. Okay, so now, here's a problem with the game. How you beat puzzle games is dependent on your skill, not luck. In Tetris, you use your knowledge of pieces to make the best moves to complete rows of blocks. In Yoshi, it's pretty much luck, with a little bit of skill, especially in Game Mode B. In Game Mode B, when you're down to the last two monsters to clear, it's completely based on luck to get the correct set of monsters to clear the screen. Sometimes, this stacks the screen back up quite a bit. In my personal opinion, this decreases the replay value of the game. But I do believe game critics were way too harsh on rating Yoshi. All game gave Yoshi 2 out of 5 stars, which is a little too low in my opinion. IGN states that Yoshi is a slow game with cumbersome controls. Yoshi is only pretty slow in game mode B. I personally think it is not slow in game mode A, since it's a marathon game mode. It ends only when you mess up. There's no stages, just increasing difficulty, which is how the game mode is meant to be. Saying Yoshi has cumbersome controls is pretty ridiculous. They really aren't that bad, and they're what makes the game pretty puzzling. Being able to swiftly move your columns of monsters to make a match is what makes up the game's difficulty. It's crazy to me how they say it is a beginner's puzzle game when they criticize the difficulty of the controls, which is what makes up the difficulty. All in all, in my opinion, Yoshi is a hidden gem of a puzzle game and is pretty underrated. I've had a lot of fun playing Yoshi, and this can actually keep my attention for up to 40 minutes, which I have never had with a puzzle game before in my life, until I've played Yoshi. For me, Tetris keeps me for about 10 minutes, and Dr. Mario only keeps me for 15 to 20. Keeping my attention for 40 minutes as a puzzle game is pretty amazing to me. With that being said, in my opinion, Yoshi gets a 3.5 stars out of 5. So yeah everyone, that about wraps up my review on Yoshi for the NES. If you're looking for a new puzzle game to try out, I'd really recommend trying out this one. It goes for about $8 on eBay, and me personally, it's worth it. So yeah, I thank y'all for watching this episode of Throwback Reviews, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.